It is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Karibuni tena katika show yetu hii. Uh, ya the Conqueror show ndani ya Fix Television na other wenyu ni mimi Fanny's Favor. Karibu sana na najua kwamba siku ya leo mnaenda kubarikiwa sana kwa sababu yale Mungu amewaandalia si mambo ya kawaida. Ah uh, kabla tuanze na maombi ningependa tukusoma Isaiah 3:10 Neno la Mungu linasema uh, ya kwamba Isaiah 3:10 Say it to the righteous that it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Our viewers, let's begin with prayers even as we get deeper into the program of today. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are the faithful God. As we begin our show today in this great program, we ask you to take over, Lord. May you speak to our viewers, speak to everyone, Lord, who will hear this, uh, will hear this program today. Bring a change of story, as your word has said clearly, God tell the righteous it is well with them. May it actually, Lord, be well with everyone who is listening to us and who will also watch this show, Jehovah, Lord. We are also grateful because, Lord, you brought your servant today in the house to share along the great and mighty things you've done in our life, oh God. Now, Lord, we ask you to take over. We ask you to rule, reign like never before in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Welcome our viewers. Karibuni sana, tunafurai leo, munga mikuwa kwa makwetu. Kuna hiyo vasi ambuwe ni mesoma Isaiah 3.10. And I've just come to bring that news to all of us today. God tell the righteous it is well with them, it is well with you. It doesn't matter what the doctors have told you, that you have lupus, you have leukemia. I've come with one great news today, that it is well with you. God is healing you because he's called Jehovah Rapha and he's not a liar. He has said in Numbers 23.19, he's not a man that he should repent, neither is he, is he a son of man that he should relent. What God has said is that it is well with you. Maybe you slept, you woke up, there are issues with your business, everything is not going the way you really wanted, but I want to tell you, it is well. Uh, the other part of this verse clearly says that, that you know, it is well with the righteous, it is well with them. Because if they believe so, and they speak so, that is the kind of fruit that they will harvest. So I wish to say the following. Ni vemo wangaliye kama mkristo, unasema nini? Juyana ba unasema, ya kona mana kubwa sana kwa maisha yako. So katika shuetu ya leo, mungu wa metubariki, na tunaposikia ushuda mtubishu wa mungu, jua kwamba it is well with you. If she went through the hurdles she went through in life, you are also going through the same, the, even maybe worse than the hurdles that she went through. But I'm telling you the truth is this, and this truth will make you free. It is well with you. It is well with your health. It is well with your business. It is well with your marriage. It is well with your ministry. Do not mind what the enemy is planning. Jesus is with you and he's doing great and mighty things for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So today, in the Conqueror Show, God has bestowed favor upon us. And we have one great servant of God that I'm just going to introduce right away and I believe her testimony is going to bring a revolution in your life. God, God orchestrated this day with a reason and a purpose. So uh, let me take this humble opportunity to encourage you to get into the show yet to see you leo. I am to meet you among the people who are going to be to be able to be able to be able to be able to Reverend Asante sana Karibu sana Asante Nifurahi lioje Kuona na vinyo mengara Hata na shida za hapo Amen glory be to God Kwa 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 tumefurahi tulikualika na umejitokelezea umekuja umengara kweli unanyesha tu utukufu wa Mungu Hata wewe mtazamaji wetu tukufu wa Mungu utadhirika kwa maisha yako kama mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo. So karibu sana. Asante sana. Pole kwa safari. Na kwa kujitolea kwako na jua kuna shughuli mingi sana lakini umesikia wito wetu uje hapa kwa sababu najua mimi nilipokujua na nilipotia ushuhuda wako nilinguza moyo wangu sana. So nikasema kuna watu wengi wajasikia ushuhuda kama huu. Ni vema uje 
katika fix television kwa sababu unajua katika hii television huwa tuko na ile nia ya watu wapate wapate, wapate ku, ku, ku rehema za Mungu yani in other words mm. we can fix it here sure. na najua kupitia kwa hiyo shuhuda wako many issues are going to be fixed in people's life amen karibu sana asante sana yeah. so tueleze tu unaitwa nani na unatokea una, una maeneo yako amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nataka kuchukua nafasi kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi ambayo tumekutana katika Fix TV kupitia wewe mtumishi wa Mungu Reverend Feva Fanes. Ah nashukuru Mungu na sitaki kuchukua kama ni jambo la kawaida. Nataka tu kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ni neema. Aya kwa jina naitwa Rachel Karemi wa Mwashimba na nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu akiwa mwokozi wa maisha yangu kwa neema ya Mungu mimi ni mchungaji katika diocese ya Mombasa Anglican Church of Kenya diocese ya Mombasa chini ya Bishop Alphonse Mwaro Baya Currently niko pale Moi Girls Kadonzo nikiwa chaplain ama mchungaji wa wanafunzi nashukuru Mungu karibu asante tumefurahi sana Welcome. I know you are going to be a blessing to us. So maybe uh ungetuelezea tu tujue labda uko ulizaliwa lini na ulienda shule wapi ndio mtazamaji wangu akuelewe ajue kwamba unatokea maeneo gani kulisomea wapi ndiposo ukafika mahali ambapo umefika. Eh nataka kushukuru Mungu and um, I, I glorify God kwa sababu ya wema wake na fadhili zake tena kama ni kunjivuna na njivuna kwa sababu ya Mungu Mungu peke yake Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Embu in Mount Kenya nikiwa first born in our family na nilisoma huko Embu primary nikasoma Meru from there nikaendelea kumwamini Mungu kwa sababu ya huduma sasa nilitaka sana niwe mchungaji hata nikiwa mtoto mdogo kwa sababu ya mambo Mungu alivyonitendea nikiwa mdogo sasa nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya ku, uh, kutimiza ndoto yangu ya kumtumikia na kumuishia amen, amen. Mm. so tuelezee hapo umenikuza sana ti ukiwa kwa mtoto mdogo ulikuwa umetamani sana kuwa mchungaji kwa ni nini ilikuvutia what is this that push you to want having the dream of becoming a pastor na unajua kuna watu wengi sana hata na kumbuka mimi ni mwalimu pia wanafunzi wengi ambao watakuwa wachungaji wa wataki sasa sijui kwa nini wewe nini nilikuvutia tueleze tupate kuelewa zaidi hapo uh, kwa kweli mimi nilikuwa mtoto ambaye nimekuwa in uh, katika life of bitterness na nilikuwa nauliza kwa nini niko na that bitterness in my heart nilijikuta niko kwa my grandmother mza babangu na ilikuwa ni kipindi kirefu na hata nilikuwa nimejua nyanyangu kama ndiye mama okay. kwa sababu nilizaliwa mamangu akiwa class 7 na babangu alikuwa form 3 na by that time hata sikuzaliwa nilikuwa nazaliwa My mother was I had terminated the pregnancy. Nikiwa katika mwezi wa nilikuwa nakaribia mwezi wa saba. Mm-hmm. So when she terminated the pregnancy I think uh, nikawa kichwa ngumu kidogo nikakataa kufa. <laughs> so it is my uncle who took that uh, Yeah, imani tele. Ulikataa kufa kwa mdogo. Na sifi hata kwa uchawi. Amen, amen. Mm. So wakati huo ndio nilikuta kwamba nikiwa mkubwa sasa ndio nakuja kuelezwa because I was a, a crying girl. Nilikuwa nakaa nikilia kila wakati. Nakaa ni, nimeumia, nakaa kama nimeumizwa nilifika kipindi ambacho nyanyangu sasa ni wakati huo ambao nimetolewa sikufa nikachukuliwa na mjombangu sasa wakati ma- mama alienda nyumbani akaonekana hana hana tumbo akaulizwa uko wapi akasema atakao uko shambani endeni mkakichukue so ni story niko na hapo na ndugu yake mamangu alafu sasa na my parents upande wa, na my grandparents upande wa nyanya wa, wa babangu sasa it is by the grace of god ya kwamba my grandfather and my grandmother upande wa baba walisikia fununu kijana wao amezalisha mtoto wa shule so they came all the way uh, kwa distance ndefu sana 
wakaja mbako wakalocate because my father was living with a grandmother near my mother's uh, home. So walijua hiyo familia. So wakaja wakanichukua nikaenda wakasema because I'm the firstborn of their firstborn wanaenda naye. Akifa zikwe pale. So mimi wanadamu walikuwa wamesema nitakufa kutoka mamangu hata wengine they were very pessimistic ya kwamba nitaishi lakini kumbe maisha ya mwanadamu yana Mungu. Amen. So nikawa ninaishi na my grandmother, nikakuwa na my aunt wale ambao hawakubwa. So I they, I thought they are my sisters. Okay. Hata walikuwa nasema mimi ni last born. But I loved God. Nilijikuta ninapenda huduma, napenda maombi, napenda kanisa. Yaani kwa nasikia tu nataka nimtumikie Mungu. Wow. Retaron. Mm -hmm. uh, nikaja nikaonyeshwa mamangu. Mamangu akachukuliwa na ukoo akaletwa kwa boma. Sasa imagine kuambia mtoto wa miaka sita saba yule ndiye mamako it was very hard. For me to mingle with my mother it was a, a long time sababu sikuwa ninaelewa. And uh, nikawa sasa niko na bitterness katikati yangu na mama sasa huyu naambua ni mamangu na sijamuona. So nani kama alikuwa na bitterness because something that you don't love ndio utatoa. Yeah. So ni kama I was rejected from the time uh, when I was conceived because ilionekana kama nimeharibia mamangu maisha. So ni kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinaonekana kama akiva, akifai. Kumbe kweli nilikuwa nimempendeza Mungu. Nikaishi yeah. na sikufa. Yeah. So nikaendelea hivyo kusoma na I've come nilikuja kupatana na mama yangu. Yes it ni mchukie sat but my heart until the time the servant of God was preaching akwa na shindwa kwa nini nikienda kwa maombi ninakuanga ninakuwa ninalia sana kwanza ikifika hapo kwa kuombea wazazi ninalia i break until the time aliniongelesha na akaniambia this is something to break yes. na ikabidi sasa niombewe na nitufunje hiyo spirit of rejection mm -hmm. because it was like it was a spirit of rejection mm -hmm. i thank God because up to date tuko na uhusiano mzuri na mamangu na imekuja after nimeolewa hatukuwa na very good bond with my mom mine was on my grandmother my aunts and my uncles upande wa baba so to me when i just recall of what god did to my life ya kwamba he safeguarded my life yeah. when i was terminated god took me and embraced me and that spirit did endelea hivyo back until the time I came to be praying for. So when I was given that story ni kwa form 3 hapo. Na nilimpenda Mungu sana. Nilikuwa msichana napenda kanisa, anapenda nikikosa nafasi ya kuhubiri kanisani ama kuimba sababu watoto wanaonekana kama ni mtoto wanafanya. I had uh, I had a desire to serve the Lord. So what I could do in the church ili angalau Mungu anapozuri wengine asinipite I used to clean the church ama nifagie compound ama nioshe choo ya kanisa. Amen. So I, I I desired to live in the house of God serving God in the ministry that God has called and called me until the time sasa nipo kuja nikawa mtu mzima sasa. Yes. Na nimekuja kujua mwito ambao Mungu alikuwa amesave grand maisha yangu tangu kuwa terminate after kuolewa sasa nipo kuja kuwa mchungaji. So I thank God. Mungu ni mwema. So far. Wow. Mm. Wow. Eh. Kweli Mungu anaweza. Kwa sababu yale ambayo umepitia. Yaani tayari unaonekana wewe hata si muhimu hata ulikuwa unataka kuawa na mamako. Si jambo rahisi. Lakini kwa sababu ya ile upendo ambao ulikuwa uko naye kwa ajili ya Mungu ndio umekufanya ukafika umbali huu. Hasa mimi kitu ambacho ningependa tupio utuelezee kidogo ni hiyo bitterness. Kwa sababu umesema kwamba hapo hapo awali you really had a lot of bitterness towards your mother. Sure. So I don't know about today. Uh, Do you still love the bitterness? Because you know sometimes what we want to say unachukulia forgiveness kwa njia ambayo ileweki. Forgiveness yeah tunasema ati nimekukosea nimekusamea nimekusamea it is a it is a process yeah. so sijui kama wewe have you undergone all the process of forgiveness towards your mother ama bado kuna wakati ukiketi hivi unasikia kwa roho yako kuna kitu bado asante sana kwa hilo swali na changamoto 
Nataka kusema ya kwamba kusema ule ukweli forgiveness ni kitu kigumu sana. There's something to struggle with. Ukikumbuka hayo ambayo yalitendeka huko, tena ukikaa utafakari yani vilikuwa hivi. You just unakaa kama mwanadamu, kama mwanadamu si rahisi kuachilia. Lakini when I was praying and weeping and groaning, nikiwa ninalia nikuja nikasoma uh, Genesis chapter 50 from verse 15 paka huko 22. Na nikawa naona story ya, ya Joseph. Story ya Joseph hiyo uh, chapter 50 of Genesis inafundisha vile ambavyo um, Joseph aliweza aliweza kusamehe ndugu zake kando na yote waliompangia mpaka akanjikuta ameuzwa mpaka akanjikuta yuko kwa Potiphar akanjikuta hizo shida zote akaona ni ndugu zake kweli wamekosa lakini pale mwisho unakuta ya kwamba akiwa na ile true forgiveness sababu alikuwa anauliza hapo hapo 15 hapo 20 there ya kwamba is it my work is it my work ya kwamba mimi naweza kuwa am I, am I god that I should revenge So he knew that it's only God who can revenge. Kitu ambacho nilijifundisha mahali pale ni kuachilia ili Mungu naye anibariki. Tena nikawa nasoma as I was doing theology nikaelewa ya kwamba if you don't forgive you are the weakest person. So kwangu kwa mtu kukataa kusamehe it is not a strength it is a weakness. Na Mungu hawezi kusikia maombi yako hata kama umeokoka umejawa na roho namna gani alafu uko na uchungu na mwenzako hauna uwezo wa kusamehe. So after that nikafanya self deliverance. <laughs> nikafanya self deliverance through the word of God. Yes. Through the word of God. And prayerfully I pray, I pray through that uh, verse na the book of Romans ambayo inasema ya kwamba kisasi ni cha Mungu. So to me nikaona ya kwamba my mom did it, did it out of ignorance. But tunaona vile ambavyo Mungu alikuwa anasema in the days of uh, later days God uh, overlooked ignorance but now he's commanding people to repent. So I pray to God because my parents are religious. And to tell them about these things they could not understand. So for me to wait my mom to change I ingekuwa ingekuwa ngumu sana. So it bidi mimi mwenyewe nibadilike because I've known the word of God. To release it ili niweze kubarikiwa. So That is it. Na nikajua ya kwamba true forgiveness hambas no bitterness. Good kwako. Ah uh, Reverend Rachel, mimi na tuendelea kwamba tukiwaeleza watu wa majority ya kwamba true change begins with me. Sure. Ni kweli ulikosewa kwa sababu kulingana na historia yako ni uchungu sana. Mm. Kama mako anaweza kufanyia hivyo lakini si unajua Mungu anataka kubariki kwa hivyo ni wewe umuondoe katika moyo wako mm. ili uendelee. Sure. Na ukweli naona tangu umuondoe kweli kuna mabadiliko. Sana. Kama ungekuwa hauna haya Mungu amekutendea mpaka saa hii basi ingekuwa inaonekana kama bado uko na bitterness. Sure. Lakini kuangalia kulingana na ushuhuda ambao nimejua kukuhusu naona Mungu amekusaidia hata umesoma So ni kwenda katu tuendelee hapo kwenye Mungu amekuwa baraka kwako umesoma ulianzia vipi kusoma vipi ukaenda kiwango kipi na hala ambazo hayo kuna matarajio ambayo Mungu amekuwa andalia. Mhm. Asante sana. Nataka kuchukua nafasi kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu out of forgiveness. Mhm. Ah uh, nilikuja nikawa na yaani sijui kama ni Kiswahili sanifu tukawa na fellowship na mamangu. Mzazi kama firstborn na nikaelewa na after ku, ku, kusoma neno la Mungu na kuomba na hizo seminars nimekuwa nikienda sasa nikaona this is my mother na kuna wengine hawana mama so i treasure her so much na tuko na ushirika mzuri sana na yeye mpaka leo i don't i wasipendi kusikia mamangu wako na shida so i want to say that uh, i healed na yeye we have a very good fellowship with her mambo ya kusoma imegarimu mkono wa Mungu because my dad yes alikuwa na kazi and that's why I started saying that uh, all my life is all about God na tukiwa katika maisha ya tulikuwa tunaishi maisha ya uchochole inaitwa uchochole ye kungangana kukula mpaka vibarua nini but I was determined in my life that one day nataka niwe mchungaji na kuwa mchungaji si mchungaji tu 
mchungaji aliyesoma. Na nilikuwa nataka sana siku moja nijikute nimeenda mpaka kiwango cha juu zaidi. Amen. So nilifanya bidii na kuomba Mungu kwenda secondary school Meru first term of form 1 second term nikafanywa chair lady wa CU wa Christian Union it was just because of prayer and the word of god so it was a mixed school i remember and it was a boarding school boys and girls and it was a boarding school i had a devotion we had a very powerful devotion na mimi nilikuwa nimempenda Mungu na nilikuwa natamani siku moja niwe mchungaji so hiyo vision ikanifanya kwamba that intimate fellowship with god ikanifanya i dread baka from four second term up and upon the achia kuwa chair lady mm, so from there nikamaliza i and trust and god for a miracle kwamba kama Mungu ni mapenzi yako because out of the story that bitter story ni kwa nasema sasa kama Mungu mamangu can reject me when I was in the when I was in the womb will I get a man to marry me sure will I get the true love wewe ni kwa nimeamua maisha ni mwangu nitamtumikia Mungu na sitaolewa okay. so na nikaambia Mungu ilipofika mahali nyanyangu was talking to me na akaniambia Karemi usiseme hivyo God can bless you with a good husband. Amen. So mawazo yangu nikaja nikabadilisha. So after kumaliza form 4 nikaa kama miaka 8 9 hivi ndio nikaolewa na mume wangu ambaye ni Reverend Efron Mwashimba ambaye tumeishi naye mpaka leo. Na mmebarikiwa na watoto. Tumebarikiwa na watoto wawili wa rembo sana wazuri Deborah Amen. and Caleb. Wow. And uh, maisha ya college nimefanya college nikiwa kwa mume wangu nikiwa na mtoto wa kwanza nikafanya diploma wow. alafu mungu diploma exactly in what diploma in theology wow. kwa hivyo kweli uchungaji mm. hii unajua unanibariki sana kwa sababu hii inamaanisha kwa makina macho mtu anaona ndicho mm. mungu anampatia ume sure. okay, mwanzo umesema ulikuwa unataka kabisa kuwa mchungaji. Yeah. Na tunaona mwenye Mungu ametembea katika hii safari mm. at the end of the day you've gone for diploma in theology. Yes. Wow, I'm so blessed. Amen. Wow. Then after mm. diploma I was ordained as an Anglican priest. Mm. That was 2002. Alafu tukaendelea hivyo Mungu akanibariki tena na mtoto wa pili 2016 tukakai sub that uh, in a, a, several parishes Amen. then 2016 17 nikawa transferred and after serving serving where i was serving god spoke that time yangu ya kufanya huduma pale imeisha and bishop called me that i've been given scholarship to go for bachelor of divinity Amen. in st paul's university miraculously miraculously uh, of which i graduated last year that is on November in November uh, 2000, 2022 yes and I'm yearning very soon to go for my masters and phd Amen. abroad wow, abroad yes congratulations <laughs> so our viewers you can see what you desire is what god will always give you the word of god says in psalm 37 verse 4 that when you delight yourself in the lord he will give the desires of your heart umemsikiza mtumishi wa mungu repen atamani tabwa kwa mdogo hawe yeye ni mchungaji na mungu amempeleka katika hizo hatua moja hadi nyingine kwa kweli the bible says in Proverbs 14 but the path of a just man is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day so nimebarikiwa sana na ushuhuda wako katika tunaamini kwamba even our viewers have really been blessed so mimi ningependa tukusema kwamba bwana akubariki amen na nakutaka kila laheri unapoenda kule United States of America ukienda kusomea hiyo masters yako program mm. na PhD labda kabla tumalize hiyo masters ungependa iwe exactly in what eh nimetamani sana kufahamu the new testament the new testament so as i want to go broader in academics nataka nifanye new testament wow yes kila la do we have blessed and i to my kwamba our viewers you can relate with this testimony that's why i began by saying it is well with you haijalishi uko wangu nimeona mtumishi wa mungu reverend rachel 
ameinuliwa na bwana kutoka mafumbini mama yake alikuwa anataka kumtoa katika ujauzito akiwa na miezi saba lakini ndio huyu hata saa zingine nikikuangalia hivi nashangaa ulipo ulitoka kwa tumbo mama yako na miezi misaba lakini mwili wako haukai kama vile kutoka miezi misaba aliza kuwa hapo kweli Mungu ameujiza kwa hivyo mtazamaji wangu wa, wa the conquer show do not give up sure. god is still working in your life sure. so asante sana mtumishi wa Mungu kwa kuja ningependa tupandize show yetu ya leo kwa, ku, kwa kuomba na kumshukuru Mungu kwa hivyo ningekukaribisha wewe uombe juu ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wamesikia ushuhuda kuna kule nje wanaweza kuwa napitia yale labda wako na bitterness in their heart mm, anashindwa kukana mme wake labda bitterness baka kama ni mwanafunzi anachukia mwalimu mm-hmm. unajua there are so many issues of of bitterness kwa hivyo omba tu ili Mungu aweke watu wengi huru wanapoona isho na wabarikiwe na Mungu wanywe zaidi Amen. so karibu omba anajua kwamba wengi wanaenda kufunguliwa amen Uh, kabla tujaomba kuna neno ninapenda sana na ninalichukua practical. Jeremiah 29 from verse 11 mpaka 13 nalichukua practical ya kwamba for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord. Amen. Plans to prosper you exactly. not of disaster. Amen. So your parent cannot know the plan of God in you. Even your fiance, your husband, your spouse cannot know the plan. Hawaanza kuwa hawajui mpango ambao Mungu amekupangia. Amen. Ni Mungu peke yake. Kwa hivyo usife moyo. Mungu ana mpango na wewe wakati wanadamu wamemalizana na wewe. Mungu hajamalizana na wewe. God can fix it. Amen. Tuombe. Baba wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tunakushukuru na kulinua jina lako mchana wa leo. Asante Bwana kwa sababu ya ushirika ambao tumekuwa nao katika Fix TV Mungu ishie milele. Mungu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru kwa sababu na mpango mwema na mtazamaji uko na mpango mwema na maisha ya kila mtu. Hakika Bwana wakati tunapoangalia vile ambavyo unatendea watumishi wako Mungu unatushangaza kupitia neno lako. Na leo umetuambia kwamba tell the righteous it shall be well with them O Lord. That person who has given up Lord in life we are praying in the name of Jesus. The Lord God your plan Jehovah shall not be thwarted by anything anybody or any situations in their lives oh God. Father those who have bitterness Lord we pray that you may help them as you helped me Lord as you helped Joseph king of glory to forgive his brothers oh God. Father you help me Jehovah to forgive my mom to forgive any person Lord that was concerned about this bitter issue Jehovah God. Naomba Bwana ukasaidie yeyote aliye na uchungu moyoni mwake katika ndoa yake katika masomo yake katika maisha yake. Bwana ukampe amani inayotoka kwako. Na Bwana ukampe matumaini aliyekata tamaa kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Maana Bwana una mpango mwema juu ya maisha yake. Bwana acha Mungu kaendelee kuwapigania vita, kuwatetea na kuwainua, zaidi kuwanenea hata kupitia neno lako kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Upewe sifa na uinuliwe Bwana. Tomba Bwana pia kabariki Fix TV kwa njia ya ajabu. Bwana the directors, Mungu wa mbinguni wote wanaofanya kazi hapo. Mungu wa mbinguni ukawabariki na baraka zako za mbinguni. Na Bwana Mungu wa mbinguni Fix TV katumike kuwafikia wengi waliokata tamaa, waliotanganyikiwa na maisha, waliokata tamata katika imani zao, wa kuangalia wewe peke yako. Bwana pokea sifa na utukufu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu tunaomba tukiamini. Amen. Asante sana mtazamaji wetu kwa hayo. Reverend asante kwa kuja Bwana kubariki. Tunapoenda USA mtumikie Mungu huko milele paka kubarikiwe zaidi. Amen. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. mtazamaji wangu nashukuru sana kwa kuungana na sisi katika show yetu. I believe you've been blessed and the Lord has touched you. Wacha nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutuweza kuwa katika kokara chosi ya leo and I also want to thank our director Robert Fix for always being there for us because I know through him God is using him to turn around many lives yes. through this program the Conqueror show. Mbarikiwe msikose kutana na sisi Jumapili ijayo saa tatu kamili. Nitawaletea kwa nyumba hapa kushuhuda mwingine kutokana na mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye atakuja Jumapili ijayo na najua utabarikiwa sana. Hii ni Conqueror show mkiletewa na Fanny's Favor ndani ya Fix TV. We can fix it. Amen. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.